Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to use current sensor with ESP32 and Blink. If you're new to this channel then please subscribe and turn on the bell button to get the notification of my new videos. Here we need the ACS712 current sensor, ESP32 as a microcontroller, socket and plug for load connection. First place the ESP32 on the carrier board. Then connecting three jumper wires to the current sensor. Connecting VCC of the current sensor with 3.3 volt pin of ESP32. The ground of current with the ground of ESP32. Then connecting the output pin of current sensor with the GPIO 34 pin of ESP32. Then connecting the load with the current sensor like this. Let's set up the Blink website. First create a template. Create virtual pin data stream. Create web dashboard. After creating template, now create device using the template. Then you will get the Blink template ID, template name, and authentication token. Now set the Blink mobile dashboard in the Blink application. For code, go to the GitHub link from the description. Then copy the code of this project. Open Arduino ID software and paste the code. These defined statements set up constants for the Blink template ID, name, and authentication token, which are required to connect the ESP32 to the Blink cloud. Include ACS712, which includes the library for the ACS712 current sensor. You will get this in the library section. SSID and password store the Wi-Fi SSID, network name, and password for ESP32 to connect to the Internet. Initializes an ACS712 object named ACS. 34 is the analog pin connected to the sensor. 3.3 is the reference voltage of the ESP32. 4095 is the ADC resolution, 12-bit for ESP32. 125 is the sensor sensitivity in millivolt per ampere, depending on the ACS712 model. The calibration factor adjusts the offset to improve accuracy based on testing and calibration. Initially taking it zero. Blink.run maintains the connection between the ESP32 and Blink server. Then calls read the current function to calculate the current value. This function calculates the 100 AC current sample value in millivolt. Calculates the average current, applies the calibration factor, and takes the absolute value to remove noise. 
If the measured current is less than or equal to 5 milliamperes, it's treated as noise and set to zero to ignore it. Prints the current value in milliamps for debugging. Returns the processed current value for use in the loop function. Sends the measured current to the blink virtual pin V0. Select the board ESP32 dev module and upload the code. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor and see the no load current value. Then assign this value to the calibration factor to calibrate. Then again upload the code. Now it's showing a current value of zero for no load connection. So now the sensor is ready to use. Let's see the result. I'm connecting my soldering iron as a load. It takes about 60 milliampere. Now testing with iron. It's taking a huge amount of current.